swag, 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 swag. Back in this bitch, not these you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Layback back in here with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey! Anyway, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button for your boy. Most importantly, make sure you hit that notifications. No, most importantly, hit the subscribe. Then number two is hit the notifications. Then number three is hit the uh, like button. <laughs> but yeah, we back in here, like I said, with another episode, man. I'm reacting to that everyday struggle Monday episode. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, as soon as the episode start off, Ap Academics got that flame behind him. He got that fire inside his eyes. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe because it's, he just got the million subscriber plaque from YouTube. He feeling himself. But you could tell he was like, yo, I'm ready to attack these, these, these topics today. So, they start talking about the Catch Me Outside girl who just signed to Atlantic Records. And so... They start going back and forth about that, and academics start kind of checking Joe, like, bro, like, how, how you not blaming the label for this? N normally, you always, you know, pushing the label, pushing the label. This time, you ain't really pushing hard back on the label. And so, Joe was kind of like, man, I'm always against the label. So, anyway, Joe said some crazy stuff. He was like, man, the Catch Me Outside girl is, is the same as Kodak Black. Bruh. He said the same as Kodak Black. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Academics was like, bro, no, she not, bro. He was like, bro, she the same as Kodak Black. If you take the rapping away, she's the same. But academics couldn't get past the point that he said take the rapping away. He just heard she's the same as Kodak Black. Hey, it was a mind blower. I ain't gonna give it away. Y'all gotta watch the episode and see exactly how he broke it down to kind of explain how she was like exactly just like Kodak Black. And so, and you could also uh, tell that. Joe was kind of tired on this episode. Like, he didn't get no sleep last night. He said he was up searching Kevin Hart videos all last night. So, let's go ahead and get into the Kevin Hart thing. Man, they started talking about the Kevin Hart thing, man. If you don't know, Kevin Hart, uh, he cheated on his wife, allegedly. And, you know, she's pregnant and all this stuff. So, he put out this, this fucking video on Instagram talking about it, you know, apologizing and all this stuff. And so, you know, Joe Budden and, and Academics, they went in on him, man. It was funny as hell, man. They said they seen the video. Like, he actually had a threesome. It's just some crazy stuff talking about the side chicks was ugly or not up to par. It was just, they took it left, man. It was just so funny, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> they were just saying, like, what do you expect from Kevin Hart, though, man? Maybe he has a sex problem maybe he has a sex addiction like maybe you shouldn't just jump to conclusions with the guy and say he's a horrible person maybe he actually has a problem you know what i'm saying with this type of situation so that's just something to think about you know what i mean they also talked about Lil uzi vert how you know he made what the song exo tour life made like 4.5 million but he brought home like 900 thousand, and people was kind of outraged like they they was thinking he should bring home more but Joe Budden was like, then you don't really want to know about the music business because Uzi Vert actually came out pretty good with that situation. A lot of people make less money than that shit. So, yeah, people don't really know what artists really bring home, man. But shout out to Lil Uzi for almost making a million off of that that record. That's how that's that's what a hit record can do for you. Put a million dollars in your bank account, and also all the show money. You can't even tally up how much money he done made off of shows i heard he getting like a hundred thousand a show now and of course that's a bigger tribute to that record he made so yeah man Lil uzi about to be sitting pretty already sitting pretty i think so they also got into the kodak black remix over the bodak yellow cardi b joint and they played a little snippet of that y'all let me know what y'all think about that record do y'all think you know what I'm saying cardi b dropping that bodak yellow remix is showing love back to kodak black like yo man you know i did kind of steal your style your swag you hopping on this joint and me dropping it is actually showing you love you know what i'm saying so y'all let me know if y'all even want to hear kodak black on that bodak yellow because from the snippet you know it sounded his flow was different than i thought it was going to be it wasn't the regular flow on the beat he actually said it on the song that he switched up his flow so y'all let me know what y'all think about that man that 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 bodak yellow i think it's gonna be called bodak orange yeah so it's gonna be on um, the remix that kodak black drop or cardi b drop so 
that was pretty much it. They was also talking about, you know, Nas and Nikki and all that type of stuff. They dating, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, you already know what it is, man. Like I said, I'm just going to give y'all the quick meat of the subjects and, you know, my overall review of it. Like I said, it's more stuff that's inside of that episode. Y'all can go check it out. But I'm just giving y'all the stuff that stood out to me. Appreciate the new subscribers. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you do all that cool, funky shit. And I'm out. Yeah.